we, I knew he was gonna be my toughest competition here. So in the room we just practice, you know, keep moving, take as many shots as you can. And I prepare for that. He's not used to that kind of wrestling. I take 100 shots, he gets tired. I'm still, I'm still good. I'm used to it. So I just want to thank him for, you know, putting the pressure on me throughout practice to be able to do that. What were the keys to slowing him down? Um, just keep on my fakes. I knew he wanted that uh, high C, so I keep my my left arm arm down so he can grab it and just not give him any control. Just stay on my off. Like right right what was he doing that kind of to stay a lot lower in your shot? He was just trying to he likes to drive in a lot and it keeps constant pressure and pulls me in. So I just I try getting lower. So that way he reaches whenever he comes. I'd be able to get my double ace from there. Can you talk about your decision not to wrestle at the Open? I mean, I just got done with NCAAs. You know, took a week off. I was already qualified for this, so either way, I had to win two tournaments. So it didn't make, it didn't make sense. I talked to my coaches. I said, just win the challenge tournament and win the final X. So. You're going to be facing a guy who does not give up a lot of points and day. Talk about that. I mean, I think Derringer and Dake are somewhat similar, but when you take 100 shots, hopefully at least five lands. So what, what kind of adjustments did you make from the NCAA season to come out and, and get these wins out here in freestyle? I mean, I just love freestyle, man. I think it's my sport. Uh, so I just went, went to the wrestling room every day, you know, working on little things. I already knew my shots were there and everything. And just having my coach just on me, you know, my conditioning was probably the main factor where I was able to pull away. So you had some guys come into the room and help you out, some people fly in. You know? Yeah, I had a, I'm gonna give a shout out to Nick Maribor for coming in, you know, helping me out, talk about a defensive wrestler. Yeah, what was that like going going against Maribor? I mean, it was tough, uh, for sure, frustrating. You know, I tried to get into his legs. He limps out, he's just so solid, so short to the ground. But I think that it helped me prepare for this tournament. You feel like it was similar to wrestling uh, Derringer? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think I could have gotten a better partner. What did you do during your time off after NCAAs? Just relax, hang out at the pool in my apartment complex. You know, so not much. Just, you know, relaxing my body because, you know, the NCAA tournament's brutal. So you just have to relax and recover. Is that hard to get away from wrestling? I mean, I knew I was gonna come back, so I enjoyed my time. Try not to focus too much on wrestling because I knew it was gonna come back. I'm not gonna lose it. Thank you, Grant, for seeing Final X. Thank you.